What is up guys, Pro Player Apathy back in the building with another video today and I decided to do it in a vlog form instead of like me playing some gameplay, I was gonna do that but now I'm like, you know what, let me just talk, you know, just face to face, heart to heart, human being to human being with no gameplay, just like a little vlog, you know, talking about a very important tip when it comes to proving and I think this is very important and I felt like I wanted to share this, you know, a couple days or a couple of videos ago I did a, a, a advice you know to you guys I gave a very important advice when it came to becoming better and just improving in general you know I talked about how you have to go hard you, you know you have to make sure you take everything serious make sure when you're putting your time in using it wisely and not messing around like sometimes you can have fun but you know taking it very serious taking practice very serious because that is always the best way and the fastest way you're gonna get results and improve but in today's video, I want to talk about a little bit something different when it comes to improving. Now, that was definitely the, the best thing when it came to or it comes to improving. So that's why I mentioned that. But now I'm going to be giving you guys another tip and really talking about it and breaking it down. So I think a very, very important tip when it comes to improving is basically trial and error. So meaning when you're playing eights, wagers, money eights, uh, whatever it is, normally something that isn't too important, you know, you try stuff out and you you... It's not necessarily like, all right, when you're scrimming, for example, yes, it's important to win. Yes, it's important to do the right things. But sometimes, you know, it's good to try new things out. That's how you figure out, you know, better things, better plays, better start offs. Uh, you know, just in general, like better ways to hold a hill, better flanks. You know, you can't, if you continue to do, think of it this way if you continue to do the same thing, the same thing, the same thing, are you ever going to really learn anything new? Probably not, unless unless you learn from the other team. But in, in most cases, you're not going to learn anything new. You're going to just continue doing the same thing, and it's probably not even working. So when it comes to scrimming, a very good example, scrimming is, is not that important if you don't win, right? It's, just, it's a scrim. Uh, the most important thing you want to get out of a scrim is practice and good practice. So it's okay to try new things out. It's okay to try out a new start off. It's okay to, uh, let's say you're on a certain hill and you want to try out this flank. You've never done it before. No one has ever done it. But in your mind, you know, you're know, you like, you know what? This might work. Now, in the process, it might fail badly. and Your team might get a little pissed. You just tell them, hey, man, look, I was trying something out. It uh, didn't work. I won't do it again. Or it's going to work. You're going to be like, holy shit. You know, you tell your team, yo, this thing, yo, we should do this now. You know, this, this pinch, this flank is really good on this hill. And then that's how you continuously get better. Like for a good, another good example I can give you guys is when we were practicing search before caught champs, a search was pretty damn bad, right? But when we were practicing for search, we necessarily we're playing our right, we're playing best of five wagers against pro teams. We played against some S and D teams, but we're mainly playing against pro teams. And we were playing a best of five S and D wagers around ten to twenty dollars on the line each. So <clears throat> obviously it's not that much amount of money, but at the same time it is a decent amount of money on the line. And you know, normally you want to win those, right? That's really what's important. But at the same time, no, th you, the bigger picture is what is important. Champs is important. Who cares if we lose this wager? So while we're playing the wager, obviously we're trying our best to win. Obviously in situational plays and stuff like that, we're doing our best, you know, we're communicating, we're really trying to, you know, get those rounds in. But at the same time, we're trying new stuff. We're trying new strats. You're like, oh, it's four push middle. Oh, how about we do three this, you flank, or I'll flank, you hold, uh, B. You know, we're trying all these new things out. And yes, there is things on the line, but we're not going to get better. We're not going to improve. We're not going to learn anything new or uh, just, like I said, get better in general if we don't try these things out. And it goes back to what I was saying. Normally, you know, you could do these in eight money aids, things that aren't too big, things that not that much money is on the line. Because that is where you get your practice and that's the best time to do it. Don't be afraid to try out new things. Don't, that's how you're going to get better. That's how you're going to learn new things. You know, trial and error is very, very important. And not only as a team, but individually. Best way I can explain it. I example, I play all the time, right? When I'm, when I do certain plays, I'm messing up. I'm like, all right, in my mind, it instantly hits me. Okay. I'm never going to push that again on that hill because it's stupid. It's going to cost my team the hill. Boom. X that out. Now when I play the hill again, I'm doing the right thing. Now next time, all right, on, a, on another hill or on search and destroy, you know, a 3v4, stay with my teammates. You know, I, I go out by myself. I got killed. My team got left in a 3v3 and they lost the round. Next time, no push by yourself. If you're going to push, push with your team 90% of the time. All right, boom. Now I'm better. And it's just, it's a, it's like, that's how you improve in Call of Duty or just in video games in general. You know, it's it's all about try and error, trial and error. It's all about 
fixing your mistakes and the way you learn what mistakes are and what's the wrong thing is by trying on new things or doing things that you normally wouldn't do and I think that's the most important thing that's a, a huge way I improved you know when I was doing something wrong when what every time I do something wrong it hits like it hits my head it hits my brain and say okay not gonna do this again next time I'm gonna push it this way and it's gonna work and you just call you you like this Think of it like a hundred or, or not even more, like a thousand little things on your gameplay in every map, in search, like every in situational plays, every round, every hill, every second, every every corner, you know, and you're constantly just like as you're playing through all these months or just days or weeks, whatever it is, you're constantly just Xing these things out. You're like, alright, this no, 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 no. And as sooner or later you just left it a little bit and you're and you're just like you're just so improved because you learned everything what not to do and what's the right thing to do and that's how your your skill just gets increased you know drastically and I think that's the biggest thing when it comes to improving is uh, obviously fixing your mistakes and you know really learning and I think that comes with trial and error like I said uh, us as a team it worked really well you know I mean just any any team really does it is you know when you're playing eight money eight wagers you know, the only thing I would say don't really do it is in tournaments unless you think it's really going to work, like really, really it's going to work and you want to risk it. But in 8, money 8, anything that's it's important but not too important, as long as it's not too important, you know, try out new things, do new things, see how it goes. You know, it may not work, it may not, if it doesn't work, then you learn, you get better. And it's it's all about, you know, just trial and error and just fixing fixing those mistakes as you go. And that's the biggest thing, and that's, like I said, that's how you're going to learn new things and maybe new pushes, uh, new flanks, new setups. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It's a scrim. It's a wager. It's a dollar wager. Big deal. It's a freaking, it's money eights. All right, money, like, as the, as it increases, like, if you're playing for a $50 uh, wager, you know, $50 wager, then you don't really try out things. But, like, anything lower than, like, 10 maybe $20 even, you know, it's it's okay to try out new things sometimes. But obviously when it comes to tournaments and big tournaments, you know, all those mistakes you're doing and you just improving and fixing and trying out these new things, that's where you just implement it all on the turn in the tournaments and online tourneys or land tourneys. But either way guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Just a little rant I wanted to talk about because I feel like this is a very important way in improving and getting better. This has been your boy Apathy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hope you all have a great night and I'm out. Peace! Or a great day too if you're, if you're watching it. I don't know what time, but peace!